ready to draw some ice cream? All right, grab your pencil and your paper. Make sure it's oriented vertically. We're gonna start with number one over here. I'm actually gonna start with my stem. I'm gonna go find the middle up top and two lines down. One, two. I'll do one tiny little line just to close the top and then the circle for my cherry. Ooh, my cherry's huge. All right, let's see. We have, more towards the middle of the page, two big curves that look like smiles. So I'm gonna jump down a little bit. One big smile. Remember, it's gotta be big enough to hold all your ice cream. And I'm gonna double it up now. Two big smiles. So it looks like number one is done. We're on to number two. And notice how we started the whipped cream. This is actually pretty easy. I want you to start right on the side of the cherry and we're gonna bump, bump, bump down to the side of our glass. Bump, bump, bump. Now if you only have room for one bump or you have room for five bumps, doesn't matter. Just make sure the right side matches the left side. Bump, bump, bump. That's our whipped cream. Now there's one more thing on this. We have the cup. It's a nice U shape. So we're gonna come down here and give ourselves a nice big U. Woohoo! Number two is done. Now number three. We're gonna do those crazy drips, those dessert sauce drips. Depending on how you color this, this could be chocolate, it could be caramel, it could be raspberry, marshmallow. But we're gonna do a squiggly line down from the cherry. So start your cherry and squiggle down. We're gonna double that up. Squiggle, wiggle down. Now on the left, I used the line we already had for the top of the squiggle, and I'm just gonna double up the bottom. So I'll squiggle this and loop around to close it. I have room for one more. You can really add as many as you want. So I'm gonna squiggle, wiggle, wiggle here. Double it up. And then I might just close off that rim with an extra little line. Let's see. Ah, one more thing here. This is the stand that holds the cup up so it doesn't fall all over. We're going to go ahead and do, it looks like a circle, but it's just sort of attached onto the bottom. And we're going to double that up too. Now our Sunday won't fall over. All right, on to the fourth one. We're almost ready to color. I'm noticing, I don't want to forget, there's some shine in the cherries. That little bright spot that has the light shining on it makes it look fresh and yummy and wet. So we're gonna put a circle. If you have room, you could also add a little triangle. Extra fresh, extra shine. And I've noticed there's some extra smile shapes, some extra curves. Now you can add as many as you want. We definitely want one, and that is to separate the ice cream from the whipped cream. So I definitely want to throw one curve in here. Now we know that's whipped cream and that's ice cream. But if you want to throw in more to make it look like the whipped cream is whipping around, you can. It's kind of up to you. All right. There's one last thing to draw. Can you see it? It's the table. Right now our ice cream is floating around in space. We're gonna give it somewhere to stand. We need a straight line. And no matter where you put it, just make sure it lines up on the other side. So it doesn't look like your ice cream is on some stairs. It's maybe about to fall over. So I'm gonna start my line over. Skip my ice cream out the other side. Now, like I said, you can do any color, any flavor. You can decorate this any way you want. You could do sprinkles, you could do a tablecloth, you could do a wild wallpaper, but I recommend you start with the ice cream. In case you run out of time, you want to make sure the most important things are done first. Maybe start with the cherry, get the ice cream done, then the glass, and then work on the background. Enjoy.